Mathematicians, in this lesson, you're going to learn to solve division problems by using a picture model. You know that division is a way to break a group into parts. So, for example, if we had 20 students in a class and need to make five groups of students, this can be written as a division problem because we're taking a whole group, 20 students, and breaking that group into parts, five groups of a certain amount of students. So we want to solve for how many students are in each group. If we look at this problem, we would see that we take our whole group of 20 students and we break them up into five groups. And I see that each group has one, two, three, four students. So I can say that 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. You also know that the value of the total group doesn't change. So even though I've taken our 20 students and put them into five different groups, we still have a total of 20 students. We just distributed these students differently. I'm going to explain this idea by showing you how we can use models to represent a division problem. Picture models are a way to represent a problem to make sure we break the group of items correctly. I like to use images to represent division problems, but you can also you draw dots or stars or whatever is easiest for you. So if we have 32 pancakes, so on this example, I just drew circles to illustrate my pancakes. If I have 32 pancakes and I know that I'm having eight friends over for breakfast, I can create a division model to represent this problem. So I want to take our whole group and divide it equally into eight groups. So in this example, I see that I have eight groups and in each group there are one, two, three, four pancakes. So my whole amount of 32 pancakes divided by eight people that are coming to the party. So I see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different groups. So those represent a different person coming to the breakfast. And then each person would receive four pancakes. Let's see how this works in a problem. A clown at the circus is giving away 24 balloons. If he gives each kid two balloons, how many kids at the circus will receive a balloon? So in this picture, I drew 24 balloons. I know that I need to break this group of 24 into smaller groups of two, because each kid will receive two balloons. So I'm going to see how many groups that I can make of two. So if I keep looking, and I want to make sure that each time I'm circling balloons, I'm circling two balloons together to show that we have two balloons for each student, for each kid at the circus. So now I can say that 24 balloons divided by two balloons each is equal to 12 kids. We have a total of 12 groups circled. In this lesson, you learn to solve division problems by using a picture model.